Good evening. Heading up sport tonight, Lake Epilock here in central Victoria will be the testing ground for Australia's newest speedboat, the Endeavour. The million dollar project will be launched next month by Melbourne businessman Ron Burton and the boat is destined to be the fastest in Australia this summer. Ron Burton has been involved in speedboat racing for more than 15 years now and among his favourite boats have been Miss Bud, Aussie Bud and Aussie Connection. His boats have been in the forefront in many Griffith Cup meetings around Australia. Last year, Aussie Connection won the Griffith Cup in Sydney. And this year, the New Zealand boat Latimer Lodge won the coveted trophy. But now, work is progressing smoothly on this unlimited class hydroplane called the Endeavour, the first of its type in the world. The building materials and boat building technology, with the emphasis on lack of weight, have been imported from the United States, Belgium and New Zealand. Ron Burton says the paintwork on Australia's new superboat will be completed this weekend. And then the boat will be fitted with a 3,000 horsepower Rolls-Royce Merlin engine. The first test run will take place on Lake Epilock on Monday the 20th of November. Bendigo will host the 1990 Victorian Judo Championships at the Eagle Hawk Leisure Centre. Instructor at the Bendigo YMCA Judo Club, Wayne Swanton, says after years of staging the Central Victorian titles, the regional centre is now recognised as a ju judo capital. Wayne Swanton says the decision to stage the state titles in a regional area is indicative of the sport's strength in Bendigo. After an unsuccessful meeting in Geelong seven years ago, the National Judo Federation has been cautious. But Wayne Swanton says Bendigo has the resources. We've already been able to host successfully for three years the Central Victorian judo titles and that's drawn a great number of people to Bendigo to witness judo and the venue here is so very good, being Eagle Hawk YMCA. Recent gold medal wins in state and national judo championships have stood the club in good stead. Bendigo judo players were the largest contingent in the state titles earlier this year. Although judo players haven't been strongly represented in Australia, Wayne Swanton has a vision that'll change this tradition. I believe and have always had the belief that Bendigo can and will produce an Olympic representative for the Australian side. But first things first, and these Bendigo players are currently training for the state titles on their home turf next May. Up to 80 Bendigo players will be competing in the titles. To racing news now, and the New Zealander Horlicks heads the weights for next Wednesday's Nissan Australia Kyneton Cup. Club Secretary Gary Buckley reports a record 322 horses nominated for the nine event program, including 55 for the Cup. The Spring Racing Carnival at Flemington takes a break next Wednesday for the time-honoured Kyneton Cup. The picturesque course is in magnificent condition at Kyneton for the big race, and among the nominations for the Cup this year are dual winner I'm a Red Man, the South Australian Cool Rocking Daddy, the Sydney-trained Impracetto, and the John Marr-trained Our Palliser, High Bailiff and Nairizi. The Tasmanian galloper Nakajima will be flown over especially for the Cup. The final acceptances will close at 10 o'clock next Monday morning. And the Maryborough Harness Racing Club has received 281 no nominations for their annual Cup meeting next Monday afternoon. Among the 29 entries for the Maryborough Cup are its motor power, My Mazappa, Double Wife, the Inter Dominion winner Jody's Babe, and the Stall Cup winner Aberdeen. The final acceptances will close this Thursday morning. In football news, the reigning country champion Bendigo is to meet Western Border in the opening round of the 1990 Vic Health Country Football Championships. The opening round of the Rich Series will be played on the 5th of May. Last year's grand finalists, Bendigo and Geelong, have a favourable draw and both look set to make it through to the semi-finals next June. Goulburn Valley faces a tough draw against the Ovens and Murray, whilst Wimmera hosts the Latrobe Valley. In the Division 2 draw, Murray, Ballarat and Mid-Murray all have a favourable draw in the series. North Central will be playing in second division for the first time after being relegated from the top division. Bendigo powerlifters have broken four state records and won ten individual titles at the Victorian Country Powerlifting Championships. Local lifter Shane Charter smashed a five-year-old state record by 15 kilos, deadlifting a massive 300 kilograms in the under-23, 100 kilo class. The country championships are a chance for the region's powerlifters to show their true strength. Despite Bendigo finishing second in the team's event, local lifters were in top form. Angela Tunsey broke two records, squatting 92.5 kilos and bench pressing 50 kilos. 
fellow lifter Debbie Rosen broke an open class record by squatting 112.5 kilos. Den Morby recorded a squat of 282 kilos in the 100 kilo class. Jeanette Wusk won the best female lifter trophy in the 44 kilogram class. And in the men's section, Greg McKay was runner-up as the best male lifter. The Bendigo lifters are now in training for the inter-club contest here in December. And Paul, for tonight, that's all in sport. Thanks very much, Alan. Well, today's changeable weather has been depicted by tonight's school Skywatch artist, seven-year-old Paula Roberts from Kundruk Primary School. I'll be back after the break with the Bureau's forecast.